Ashley Dunn, when he does those head scissors, it's like a carnival ride on the fritz, man. At least that's from Slayer's perspective. But Slayer, again taking the top offensive to side Slayer. And that's Slayer. He's gonna fly here, elbow! Hits the elbow drop on the North American champion. If he gets a cover right now, he could possibly be walking out of there with a gold belt. Oh, hip toss. And again, Slayer, gonna fly! Oh! Uh-oh, Slayer though, getting a little too ambitious. He goes, he hits the big leg drop! He hits the big leg drop! Oh, that is it! It's gonna be over right here. Oh, man! If too close to the ropes, if, if Ashley Dunn... If Ashley Dunn was wearing a smaller shoe size than he was, as he, this match would have been over. Right, whoa! I'll tell you what, anytime Ashley Dunn does one of those freaking spinning round DDTs, it makes, makes my head spin, and uh-oh! Oh, oh me thinks that there's been plasma, uh, Slayer is marinating in his own leg, oh! <laughs> but yeah, uh, Slayer appears to have been busted open from one of, from one of Ashley Dunn's kicks. Ugh. And that is not good if you're losing blood, especially when you're about to take a shot from the Fire Breaker! Fire Breaker! Oh! Oh, man. Uh, damn, Slayer. I wouldn't want to be you right now. Oh. Ashley Dunn goes for the cover. There's two. There's your three count. That one was over. Oh man, that is over, man. And Slayer put up a great effort, but got a little too ambitious. And Ashley Dunn, via the Verna Breaker, is leaving Aftershock still the North American champion. Damn, but still, you gotta give it up to both these guys. It's very impressive effort on their part. And I'm being told through my headset the beams and business are on their way out here. We'll be back. We're back here live. That's true. Well, you just heard it. You just heard it from the VIB. There's the ultimatum issued to our current hardcore champion, Rob Darby. And he's on his way out here. Of course, Rob Darby showed up on Overdrive high last week to defend his belt. But as you can tell, Oh, he never officially signed with any brand when he arrived in BYU. He just came in and won the title. And that's what the babes in business want to know for sure from him. And right here, right now. Is he going to be in, Is he going to be on Aftershock? Or is he going to go over and work with the AK on Overdrive? We should be hearing from him momentarily because he's got a microphone. You got that right. Oh. Oh, you don't mean. Wait a minute. If you're not going to Aftershock, we're over. What the hell? What? Changing the rules? Wait a 
a minute. Rob Darby? Is it, there's gonna be a third brand? And he's gonna be in charge of it? What the hell? So let me get this straight. Rob Darby came to BYU and won the hardcore title. Oh, only to say he's starting his own brand? An extreme brand? And he's taking the hardcore ch championship with him? Excuse me for that. I, I just cannot believe this. And not only is he taking a belt with him, but what does he mean he's changing the rules of the title? Oh, but there's going to be a extreme brand in, in BYU? Oh, there's going to be three brands? And Rob Darby is the general manager of the extreme brand? And hey, Jesus! I mean, what the hell is going on here at BYU? I mean, really? Hey, but, ah, uh, anyway. I'll try to talk about that more, or another, another time. And maybe later, later tonight. But we just saw Scorpion come out for a Royal Showdown qualifier. And here comes Shadow MC, who all of a sudden feels he's, he's got a BYU. I don't understand what, what his problem is, quite frankly. Hey, his attitude is just disgusting. And I mean, if you remember at Vendetta, he had the nerve to throw down an open challenge. And it's just because he thinks he can beat anyone on Overdrive or Aftershock. And I'm probably sure that if you ask him, he'll tell you that he thinks he can beat anyone, anyone that Rob Darby could bring in for his extreme brand also. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. He used to be such a respectable guy. He's still a great athlete, as he just demonstrated. <coughs> hey, but, I mean, usually, we, I mean, a Scorpion would be advantage. I mean, MC, I mean, I mean, he never really cared about people to begin with, but, uh, you know, uh, at least he generally respected you when Scorpion just did that face buster. Well, but ever since he put Chris Cryptic, his ex-tag partner, out on the DL, I mean, he's just become super arrogant, yo. Ah, Jawbreaker with Scorpion. I mean, in MC, I mean, he does, wait a minute, Scorpion with a cradle. Two. Oh, oh, two count. <laughs> MC seems a bit off his equilibrium this evening. I mean, I think that's his problem as part of his new attitude, is he, even though he did hit a counter DDT there. there. Whoa! Oh, nice move by MC. Looks like he's been taking a page out of Ashley Dunn's book. Uh, didn't get a count out of that and got a little frustrated. Of course, MC had the nerve to tell me as he hits a flatliner that he could beat Ashley Dunn any day, anywhere. There. Oh, two count only. And you know, you know what MC had the nerve to tell me? That he's five stars plus two as he hit that cheap shot. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. MC, what's taking him so long to do anything? He's getting a little cocky. Ah, oh, backbreaker. There, into a fallaway slam. Not bad. But yeah. He says he's five stars plus two, which makes him seven stars. And when he and he told me, me when opponent just before opponent opponent C black, they see seven stars, and it's a seven star twilight. Hey, that doesn't make any sense if you ask me. Hey, but then he told me seven star twilight is the name of his finishing move. Oh, and I was like, oh, really? Scorpion, nice springboard DDT. But yeah, of course we've seen a Scorpion break. goes for a cover, but now a rope break. Of course we've seen that lethal face cracking knee shot that MC he has been using, in including on Chris Cryptic like when he just stabbed him in the back. That's the move he refers to as the seven star twilight. I wouldn't be surprised if MC 